Now it's recording. It says record. Okay. Now we're going. Take two. Take two. Take two because I didn't hit the record button. Something wrong. Whatever. Whatever. So. <laughs> Hello, kids. Hi. It's your mama. <laughs> So how's retirement? Good. Again, it feels just like feels like vacation. Um, not really into the retirement mode thing yet. Um, it's fun, exciting. We got here. We did get here. We're in Blairsville, Georgia, Crossing Creeks RV Resort and Spa. Yep. Trip we took two days. Um, we stopped in Nashville, which should be called Crashville. Um, had a problem coming through Nashville. Had, I think there was four accidents. It took us an hour and a half to get through Nashville. Luckily, we had already had reservations, um, probably 10 miles south of Nashville. A little resort off the of Highway 24. Uh, not the best resort by no stretch of imagination, but good for one night. And then an early departure. We got some uh, video that we're going to share with you guys. Let's just kind of show you the, the ride down and then the ride into uh, Crossing Creeks which is a gorgeous spot. It's cool here. It's a homeowner RV resort, I guess. So if you're in that spot, you either own it or you've rented it out to someone else. And it's all concrete slip. Thank God, thank goodness, because it rained here, what, three days in a row? Mm -hmm. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, part of Saturday. It's like a tornado was coming through last Tuesday and again the last night. Yeah, it's not a swamp at all. No. The ground's wet, of course, but the concrete slab is huge. It's beautiful. And if you can't see behind us, there's mountains. It's amazing. So we've got, we caught a couple really pretty sunsets that we get to see every night. They've got the suns out. Yep. Just amazing. Yep. And we're in the waterfall capital of northern Georgia. So we've gone to three, three waterfalls so far? Mm, I think so. Uh, very short hikes, but uh, all within about 20 minutes of where we're staying. We'll share that video with you as well, kind of, kind of show you what some of the things that we're doing. Um, you have state parks everywhere here, so we got a state park pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, Bruno loves it. He's actually outside right now. Um, it's almost 60, well, it is 60 degrees now here. So wind's still a little bit cool, but we may move outside here in a minute to kind of see where it is. And, uh, when we started earlier today, I forgot to hit the record button, so we sat here and jaw jacked and drank our Bloody Marys. <laughs> it happens. Speaking of that, so let's let's do this. This is a this is a mm, white lightning. <laughs> George Jones. George Jones. Google it. White lightning. Uh, this is a Mississippi cough medicine from. Dave Cruz, so when Dad retired, he gave us the jar, gave Dad the jar. Um, congrats. So, at every destination, we're going to sip out of the jar. So, cool. it smells like potpourri. Wow. And this is the second sip of the day because I did not hit record. <laughs> but maybe because I didn't hit record again. Yeah. Never know. <laughs> On purpose. So again, thanks okay. to Dave Cruz. Yep. And for that fact, everybody that, that came to the party, especially you kids who uh, put that together with mom, I greatly appreciate that. It was a great time. It was awesome. And there was something I was going to say about about that. I don't remember what it was. I was my medicine's done wore off because it was something something. What it, I don't know. If we can cut this out, but what was it that um, what was it that we were doing that. I got nothing. Oh, man, that. this is age. Okay, so maybe it was New Year's. Like something happened that I was like, oh my God, nobody would think that was funny but me. And maybe like Joanne Ozilia would think that was hysterical. It wasn't DJ's text from Goober about the chairs, it was something else. Oh man, I'm gonna have to think about that now because that was funny. Yeah. I have to share. I have to share that with Joanne because I think she would think that was funny. Anyway, oh, well, New Year's Eve. <laughs> We're wasting video. Right. <laughs> New Year's Eve was fun. New Year's Eve was fun. We actually stayed up till midnight. Actually, past midnight. 
Yeah, they had a function here. Everybody get together, bring a uh, appetizer, and then they had entertainment, which was one of the members of Lone Star. I guess they're not together anymore, but Lone Star. He was amazing. Played acoustic guitar, and then he had a little drummer guy there. He was really good. And so we met a couple more of the camp host workers and um, some of the managers and salespeople, and they were just really amazing. Everybody's been really fun. Yeah. Very nice. I've actually worked three days now, um, which can't really say work by no stretch of the imagination. But you were out of the house? I was out. Give me something to do. I was piddling. Piddling, yes. So what do they have you doing here? Clean it. Clean up the area, check in the pool, check the spa, uh, which next week we'll, we'll walk around and take some video of the uh, the park so you guys kind of see what's, what's here. It's, it's a fantastic place. Uh, I really hope that you guys get to come down and spend some time with us because you'll love it here. It's gorgeous. Uh, like Mom said, we've got the mountains in the back. Um, everything here, they've got a clubhouse, they've got a spa, they've got a pool, they've got a sauna, they've got a whirlpool. It's just down there. It's, uh, it's a very nice place. Mm -hmm. It was neat. Except for the fact that now I'm remembering uh, New Year's, we went out and got some apples, went to the grocery store, found the grocery store, get to the store, they have wine and beer but nothing else and I need something else. They didn't sell road soda here. They didn't sell, they sold soda but they didn't sell the road. So guess what? We have to go to North Carolina to get liquor. Luckily, that's only <laughs> 25 minutes away. 20 minutes away. But it's away. another state. We have to go to another state. Yeah. And who would have thought you'd go through North Carolina to get to Georgia? Go figure. But we did. We had to. Tennessee. That was like, that was weird. Just getting here was like, oh, welcome to, welcome to Georgia. Welcome to Tennessee. Welcome to North Carolina. Welcome to Georgia. Welcome to North Carolina. Then we're back into Georgia. What? But the, the, the trip here was especially after Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. So, and don't think, let's just talk about that. Don't think that leaving was easy. We've been talking about this for a long time. We've been talking about going and doing and getting on the road and burn daylight and and then retirement, Christmas, and then on Christmas we celebrated celebrated Christmas on Monday instead of Wednesday because DJ worked on Christmas day. So, on Monday they told us uh-huh. We're going to be grandparents. Yeah. So, not that that made it any more difficult, but it kind of made it more <laughs> difficult. Yes, it did. So, luckily, Scott Bartham has stopped by as we were packing up and was like, hey, just checking on and making sure everything's all right. We were leaving and luckily that was a nice deterrent uh, of all the emotions that were going on because I'm pretty sure I've been, I know you'd have been boohooing on the way out of town. Um... So we had him videotape us leaving, so that would that kind of hurried everything up a little bit. So um, it was still very difficult. Don't think it was very easy for us to just roll right out of town because we've been talking about this because it still was very hard. But well, Cece's going to be here in July, so we're super excited. Indeed. You're going to be a peepaw. Yep. <laughs> You're going to be a peepaw. Gotta love that. <laughs> When, he op when you opened the gift, I thought that was crazy because you were like, "Are you shitting me?" It did take me by surprise. Spot on. I wished somebody had videotaped that, but sometimes those moments need to be more private. Anyway, that was private, but "Are you shitting me?" came out of your mouth. Pretty impressive. Yeah, pretty cool. So what else? Um, waterfalls. Waterfalls. I've come to the conclusion waterfalls are like boobs. Once you've seen one, you want to see them all. So, we're going to see them all. At least I do. <laughs> you want to see all the waterfalls? or The boobs. <laughs> waterfalls are okay. Whatever. We're going to see all the waterfalls. There's more in North Carolina. They said bigger ones. Right. So, we'll so, be heading that way, too. Yeah. 80 foot was the biggest one we've seen so far. And it, that was still really pretty. So, what else? I think that's it. Waterfalls. They have a, the tallest place around here. There's actually three spots that are high views. The Brass Town Bald is here in Georgia. That's just about, it's about an inch away. It's about an inch away. Or 25 minutes. 
Closer than Road Soda, actually. Yeah. Yes. But we're good now. We've stocked it up. Yeah, we uh, did stock. <laughs> and then uh, Clingman's Dome is the highest spot in Tennessee. That's where you can see seven states. Definitely on the, on the list. And then the place in Georgia and, like, southern, I guess southern Tennessee is uh, Ruby Falls and... What's the other? Rock City. Rock City, yeah. So that's got a pretty high spot, plus the underground mm -hmm. caves in that. So I'm excited to see that. Yep. we got several things to show you guys. A lot, of, a lot of neat stuff coming down. Mom was Googling a lot of things. I'll Google a lot of stuff. Okay, yep. that's it. And then maybe if it's nice, we'll sit outside. Because yep. it's 60 now. Right. Not. Actually, it's 65 now. What? It's jumping. I'm out of here. This is Georgia. I gotta get out of this joint because three days of rain and work and TV. It wasn't been much. We did go through three days of heavy heavy rain, but when we go outside, we'll show you here in a little bit that uh, it is Georgia clay and it sucks that up pretty quick apparently. It does because I thought it was going to be a swimming pool. We got our own little private pool out here, but it's pretty dried up already. So, but the the view from here, the, at least this direction. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. It is. We'll step outside for a minute. See you guys. That good? Huh? facing there.
Go ahead and ignore the safety sign. It's all good.